Elliot Goodman, one of your modifications experts here at Mod Markets. Today we installed an oil cooler on a BMW 335 and I want to discuss some options that people run into with oil coolers on their BMW models. Specifically, why do you need an oil cooler? Which models need oil coolers and what exactly does an oil cooler do? So first things first, why does your BMW need an oil cooler? If the oil is not kept at its proper temperature, it will begin to lose its viscosity and break down, causing your engine to overheat, which will in return damage the moving parts of your engine by not allowing proper lubrication and throwing the car into limp mode and making it inoperable. The E82 and E9X models do not include an oil cooler or were equipped with one too small for the job. In 2007, BMW added an oil cooler to this lineup but it still wasn't large enough to keep the oil cooled and prevent the car from going into limp mode. In 2008, BMW started putting sufficient oil coolers in some of these models depending on the performance package the vehicle came with. Which brings us to our second question. Does your BMW need an oil cooler? Yes and no. The M54 and M55 turbocharged inline six engines of the E82 and E9X do lack oil coolers, which can cause overheating, sending your vehicle into limp mode. If your BMW is driven aggressively or experiences hot climates, it is more likely that your vehicle will need an oil cooler in order to keep the engine running flawlessly. Unfortunately, there is no way of knowing if your model came equipped with a sufficient oil cooler without physically checking it out, but 2006 to 2008 models are normally the culprits. If your vehicle did not come with an oil cooler, then you will also need to add the retrofit, new oil pump, and new oil cooler attachments. If you have any questions about this oil cooler, please check out our blog post that digs a little deeper into this issue. If you have any other questions, feel free to give one of our modifications experts a call here at Mod Markets. We'll be more than happy to help you out. And don't forget to check out our YouTube page and the rest of our social media sites. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.